This 1953 Morris Minor may look like a museum piece. But lift up the bonnet and you'll find something very modern underneath. This London company is making kits that convert petrol and diesel cars into electrics. Uh, so this will do about 40 miles uh, to a charge. Um, when driving around London, your average journey is about five miles. Um, so I charge this once a week. Um, and it cost me a pound to charge it. Um, so it's, it's an ideal city car, and the running costs are 50 pounds a year. I don't pay congestion charge, I don't pay uh, the new low emission charge. Uh, residence parking is massively discounted. Built in London, the kits replace the petrol tank and engine block of an ordinary car with electric power. There are a billion cars in the world, uh, and they're all belching out noxious um, fumes. Engineer Matthew Quitter's conversions are starting to attract interest from outside the UK. I've been contacted by people who are interested in um, doing conversions themselves all over the world, um, and equally for lots of other cars as well. But can electric cars really replace petrol ones? Professor Keith Pullen is an expert on energy systems. He's excited with recent advances in this technology, but he still sees constraints. I agree, things like cobalt, big problem or lithium, it's not just the fact there's lots of lithium around, it's where to get it from, and then if there's a huge demand, the price will go up, so then the cost goes up, and you're in this sort of constant cycle of problems. So um, it's a difficult one because there, it's a good technology, and we, you know, we need something for our electric cars. We need to move over to electric traction, and otherwise uh, if we stick with diesel and petrol, we're never going to get off the carbon. <laughs> he thinks conversion kits like this one could help increase the popularity of electric cars. That's not bad. I mean, if the range could have increased it a bit more, I think that would be quite attractive for, you know, as a second car going around London or, you know, in a city or doing these short distances, commuting. I think it's, not, it's quite a nice idea. With ever more cars on the road and concerns over the environmental problems they are causing, could electric car conversion kits be the answer? Neil Kissley, City News, London.